According to my gaming profile, the social category is shown to be the highest percentage amongst the others and is shown to have a score of 92%. Dead by Daylight is a highly cooperative and a social game where you can play with up to 5 of your friends, including 4 survivors and 1 killer. I also scored very high on both excitement and competition on the secondary motivators board, which means that while playing the game with other people, there is a high competition on who would have the highest rank and the best cosmetics in the game. I think all of this applies to the game Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight is a multiplayer 4v1 horror game where one player takes on the role of the savage killer and the other four players play as survivors trying to escape the killer and avoid being caught and killed. You'll be greeted with this loading screen or this lobby when you first join the game. When you first join, there are a couple of options as you can see here, which includes store, custom game, the archives, getting started and play as a killer or as a survivor. After finishing the tutorial, you have both of the options which include playing as a killer or playing as a survivor. Playing as a survivor has a lot of mechanics in it. Uh, including, as you can see here, there are a bunch of different survivors, different unique survivors. While progressing in the game and while winning the game, you can unlock the rest of the characters. As you can see here, I have around 11 characters unlocked. Some of them require with uh, real money currency and some of them require you to grind in order to get uh, unlock certain uh, characters. Each character has a unique set of perks, three of the perks for each character. Each character comes with a backstory. As we can see through different characters, you can see each character has their own backstory and their own perks, different perks, and each perk has its own description that can be used here. This is the loadout screen with the different um, perks. You can use these perks, all of these perks. You could combine them with each other in order to create a set of four perks. You can use items here. As an example, you can use a medkit, as you can see. You can use a toolbox for the generators. You can use a flashlight to blind the killer. And you can also add some add-ons like a long life battery which adds six seconds to the use of the flashlight high-end sapphire lens it increases the range of the flashlight you can see the description before equipping it so as for how to get these perks or to get these add-ons or items uh, there's a thing called blood web blood web is basically the market for uh, um, the game which where, as you can see up here, uh, there is something called blood points. This is the in-game currency. Um, you can grant these uh, currencies by playing games. As you can see, you can unlock this by 2,000. I have already 541,000. So by clicking on it, I can grant the different items as you can see here. Each item has its own uh, description as you can see here. Like this is a camping aid kit, so this is a med kit. This is an add-on that can be used in a toolbox. And uh, here you can access the store featured uh, the different characters and the different outfits all of all of the different characters. As you can see here, you can buy all of the different characters if you want in in-game currency money or you can buy them with the real uh, currency money without grinding. These are called shards and these are called uh, Urex cells. Urex cells cannot be purchased unless it is with real money. I'm going to be showing you a quick gameplay of what are the main objects of the game. So, uh, yeah. Are loaded in with the different uh, survivors that are with me by holding shift you can run and on the bottom left you can see how you're required to do five generators in order to exit the gate 
As you can see here, there are three different survivors that are working on the generator in order to finish it. You can see the progress of the generator on top. Each, each generator requires you 90 seconds in order to finish. Uh, so I'll be going on search to find a generator. I could start working on by holding left click, which I can start repairing. Generator has been completed and it shows you a sign and it shows you that there are four generators left and I'm still working on a generator. You can hear the heartbeat as soon as the killer is beside you or near you. Is to run and he's following me. I can press space in order to drop a pallet. And this is the only way for me to escape the killer. I can use different methods in order to gain more time because a pallet is precious and there are limited quantities. So by that I can survive. The driver has been downed. You can see on the bottom left how there is a crawling animation or a crawling um, icon. Uh, this means that the killer is now eligible to hold the survivor or carry the survivor onto one of the hooks her and he's hooking her to one of the hooks as you can see he spotted me but I can save her by unhooking her just like this I unhooked her but I damaged myself for her here I'm gonna get down for the example I can now grab by him I you can wiggle by pressing a and D and if the wiggle meter completes, you can fall off the killer and survive. If not, as you can see, I'm on the hook now. I can take a chance to try to escape from it, um, but it's a 4% escape, so it's pretty low. All I can do now is wait for one of the survivors that you can see in the yellow icon to come and save me. has now approached me and has unhooked me. Um, and now I'm being healed by them. You can get healed by two players, which increases the process and makes it even faster for the survivor. So as you can see now, I'm fully healthy. I have only two, uh, two other hooks until I um, officially die. As you can see, there are two opening gates that are shown once the five different generators are fully repaired. I can finally leave the trial and just by that you can see that I have escaped. Four main different objectives in the game which is objective, survival, altruism and bloodiness. Bloodiness is related to the killer so the more the killer is chasing you and you avoid him the more points you get. For the altruism, it's uh, with um, how much you unhook survivors and how much you help your different uh, your teammates. The more you help, the higher the score you get. Survival is uh, for how long you have survived in, in the trial. Um, if you escape, you also get different uh, uh, extra points. And for the objective is um, the more you work on generators, um, the more you uh, gain these points. So as you can see here, three players have escaped and this is the killer. The killer side now and how to play as the killer. As you can see here, you are shown by a list of different characters as seen by the same as the survivors and also each killer has their own blood web as so basically it's the same thing as a survivor but as for the killer and now I'll be demonstrating the gameplay killer now you can spot a generator by hearing it as you can see the generator depending on the four different cylinders that you can see. So by pressing space or holding space, this is how you ruin a generator and make it regress over time. 
there's scratch marks as you can see these are the scratch marks for the survivor and here I spotted the survivor by pressing space to follow a survivor you can drop a pallet which stuns you and then you should press space in order to drop it and to continue searching for them abilities this is called a trapper by holding right click you can set a trap so whenever a survivor is uh, came and gets stuck on this trap you can get them and hook them left click you can injure a survivor as you can see here then you can see that they leave a uh, blood behind them as you can see so let's now kill a survivor they are now on the ground and hold a survivor and you can pick them up as you can see you go and hook the survivor as demonstrated the animation of the survivor dying is hooked three times 97% in excitement which shows you how the game is very fast pasted and it's really quick and a lot of stuff happens all the time so you need to be aware and you need to stay focused in order to survive and escape the child